Hey everyone, Anthony here, physical therapist from Physical Therapy and Balance Center of Hazleton. And today I wanna to show you a technique that we like to use in the clinic called myofascial decompression. So myofascial decompression is otherwise known as cupping. So I'm gonna show you some techniques that we do in the clinic for knee pain. If you like this content and wanna learn more, please visit us at physical.com backslash Hazleton and you could like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So when it comes to medical cupping of the hamstring area, today I'm gonna to focus on the medial portion of the hamstring or the inside where normally a lot of people are tight and it can lead to pain in the back of the knee and on the inside of the knee depending on if you have trigger points or just uh, tightness in the muscle. So first things first, we always put some type of lubrication down so that the cups can glide or slide if we need them to. So what I'm basically gonna do is just follow the length of the muscle with the cups. Okay. Like I said, we're doing medial hamstring, so we're actually gonna go towards the inside. That looks like a good position, and we're going right before the back of the knee. So when we're in this position, I usually like to have my patients bend their knees, so I'm gonna do it passively, and then I'm gonna have Megan here do it actively, okay? So nice passive motion, just so we can move the tissue back and forth, get the most out of this. And then I could have her do it on her own. Good. And then you can relax. After we put that on, usually about 60 to 90 seconds, I could drop down to one cup and do more of a massage. So that's just moving the cup up and down on the skin. Just loosening that entire area up. All right, next we're gonna focus on the IT band, which is a band of tissue that connects from your hip down to your knee. People with uh, something like an IT band syndrome or runner's knee will actually have pain right on the outside of their knee, so this is a great way to help with that. Okay. So, get the area lubricated, and we're just gonna follow the IT band down from the hip to the knee. Okay. Let those hold for a few seconds. And then again, we like to have the person move throughout this to kind of get a little bit of more blood flow, a little more motion through that area. So I'll have Megan actually just lift her knee up and then back down. And just do that five times for me. Two, three, good, four, and five, and again, just let that rest. Sometimes I'll leave it on a little bit longer. And then, like before, I will take a few off, and then we'll just nice and easily glide one of them. So, lost a little bit of pressure, so we'll add a little bit more. And then, we're just moving up and down that band of fascia that is tight on a lot of individuals and can cause problems. So it's good to get that entire IT band and also where it attaches to your quadricep muscle and to the hamstring. Okay. Lastly, let's focus on the quadriceps muscle in the front of the thigh. So you have four quadricep muscles, but today, just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show cupping of the kind of middle area towards the outside, kind of your rectus femoris and vastus lateralis, which is just a fancy way of saying the, the middle and outside part of the quadricep. If these areas are tight, and in some people they are, you could have some outside tracking of the kneecap, which is a cause for patellofemoral pain syndrome as well as possibly a quadriceps tendon strain, or this could even help a 
patella tendonitis as a result of a tight quadricep muscle, tight thigh. So we can leave this on here, but like we do before, I like to use movement during this. So what I'm gonna have Megan do is kind of press the back of her knee into the pillow. Good, and then relax. And I want her to do that five times. Again, to help move the muscle tissue and get some more blood flow to the area. Okay. And then when she's done with that, I can take a few off and just do more of a massage to the area. Just kind of move in a U shape, coming up and around, loosening up all this tissue. If we find a trigger point, sometimes we'll leave it on a trigger point. Which could help with the pain and the size of the, the muscle knot. Okay. That's quadriceps. So that was a brief overview of our medical cupping technique, which is another unique manual therapy skill that we like to use in our clinic to help loosen any tight muscles and to help improve knee pain.